What's up everybody? Real quick, before you start this video, please get your kids away from the video monitor. Um, this video is more of a response to uh, a commenter on my page. So uh, I'm going to be reading what he put down and it's not for the young ears. All right. So just be forewarned, uh, there's, there's, some, there's some language. All right, y'all take it easy. What is up everybody, Video Addict here, and I'm here with a special video today. Uh, no boxes, um, got some boxes on their way, got shipping notices, should be here. I got Hunt Vault coming tomorrow, Hunt Vault Elite coming on Friday, Barrel and Blade ship today, you know, so everything's on its way, but I've had a little something something come up and I wanted to address it. Uh, Alright, so I made a video which I'll post a little thing right here. Alright. Uh, Alright, a while back I posted a video, right? This video was entitled Last day of the 2017-2018 deer season. Alright, in this video, I'm doing my hunting. I have like 10 deer come out on me. And, you know, it was an awesome experience for me. I've never had 10 deer come out all at once. So, it was a little crazy. Um, now, <clears throat> in Louisiana, we are allowed to hunt with feeders and we're able to bait deer, okay? And in most places you can, you know, I mean, there's some places you can't and you're limited to it, whatever. Well, I had a gentleman and his, uh, his name is Deer Hunter. So, you know, I'm sure this is what he wants, but this isn't for him. This is for all the future hymns. Um, okay, I'm just going to read the first part. All right. Yeah, real awesome, James. Must be difficult hunting in the deer's kitchen. Feeders all over the place. Some random fucking aluminum ladder resting on the, up on the tree. Real difficult hunt for you. Your bow has too many pounds on it. If you can't let down the bow without having a seizure, you might want to take a few pounds off the draw. As you can tell, I'm anti-feeding deer. Just because you can doesn't mean you should. By the looks of things, you need some major deer management set in place. Way too many fucking does. I wish I could get those five minutes of my life back I spent watching this shit show. Okay. First off, thanks for your comment. Uh, you know, I respect everybody, everybody's, how you hunt is how you hunt. Don't, you know, this is just completely wrong. I mean, you come out here being the troll that you are and your only thing here is to just freaking try and cut somebody down. You don't know me, all right? Now, if you're going to come in and you disapprove or you don't like the way that I hunt, you know, why would you come at me like that? Why not come and say, hey, man, I'm glad you enjoyed your season. I'm glad you enjoyed your last day. Looks like you had a fun time. Uh, once you get more, you know, advanced, if you're looking for more challenge, you ought to try doing this. It'll make your experience a lot more intense or it'll give you a lot more satisfaction, what have you. I mean, but instead you come with this. I mean, this is ridiculous. I mean, you just had nothing better to do. You just felt like, oh, I'm going to spend time uh, typing this all out, which you probably spent more than five minutes typing this thing out and then you're talking about watching this crap show. You know what? You could have just stopped watching it whenever you saw the feeders. If you don't approve, then when you saw the feeders, you should have just been like, oh, I don't want to watch this. You know, that's, that's acceptable. 
I mean, I, I understand that you may not like it. I, I mean, I don't like the way a lot of people hunt. I don't like people that shoot brown and down. But I'm not going around on YouTube hunting them down, trying to be a troll. I mean, this is ridiculous. It really, really is. You don't know my situation. You don't know how I hunt. You don't know. I can guarantee you that I work at, I work more on my hunting properties than you spend on yours all time around. I promise you that I spend more time on it. Uh, me, me and Jay are both like very, very conservation. You know, we we really think it out everything that we do. I literally have been hunting since 2009. I haven't spent my whole life doing it. So I don't know all the intricacies. I don't know how to go down there tracking deer and whatever y'all do, uh, stalk hunting or whatever you want to call it, however you hunt. I don't know. Uh, it just don't make sense for you to come at me like this. Second off, my bow is set at 67 pounds roughly. It was at 70, I had them crank it down a little bit because my shoulder was hurting whenever I got my brand new bow that this was pretty much the first hunt that I'd ever drawn it back at. Um, that was the second one, I'm sorry. And, um, you know, I'm six foot four, 300 pounds. I'm a former college football player and arena football seven years of on the offensive line. I don't have a problem pulling my bow back and letting it down. Maybe the fact that I've never had 10 deer at one time pop up in front of me, that it had me a little rattle. And then all of a sudden they get spooked and run off, so I release the bow. And I'm sorry that I released it too fast for you that made it look shaky. I mean, really? You wanna talk about my, my deer area, all right? I can have feeders wherever I want, all right? Louisiana, we're highly overpopulated. That's the reason we have six tags a year per person. All right, you may have only one or two. That's that's your area because you're not as overrun with deer like we are. And this is how it goes. This is how you deer management. You try and get rid of them. I can't force people to kill those. You want to sit here and talk talk to me about you have some poor deer management? I'm on a hunting lease. All right, with 30 other people. This is just. I can kill three does. That's it. Four if I if I choose to. I killed two doe last year. So don't come at me telling me that I need to deer manage. I can't make people hunt. I'm not going to make people hunt my way. I'm going to. I prefer if they did. And if I could, I would make them. But I'm not going to sit there and argue with them about it. And call them whatever you're calling me here. This is ridiculous. I agree. There are a lot of freaking does out there. But what am I supposed to do? I can't kill them all. Five minutes of your life, you should have turned it off when you saw the feeders. Plain and simple. Then we wouldn't even have this problem. You know, you want to act like you're some great freaking hunter and you do things the, the real way of hunting. Screw you, dude. You don't know me. And you don't know how we hunt down here. And I guarantee you, a lot more people hunt like me than hunt like you. And just because you're one of those little elitist acting people that you want to sit here and you want to say negative things about other people, and yet you probably are worse than all of us. Jay chimed in, you know, as, you know, a friend would. And plus, we get this, you know, you get these people every once in a while, and they'll say that. But you know what? They don't freaking come over here cussing on my dang YouTube page and talking crap whenever all we're doing is just showing us outdoor and how we hunt. It's not saying that our way is the perfect way. It's just telling you that, hey, this is how we're doing. We're getting outdoors. We're having a good time. We're enjoying becoming hunters. There's not enough hunters today, all right? The world is just changing. You got kids that don't want to go outside. You got kids that you can't get to go out in the woods with you because they'd rather sit there on their phone or on their Playstations or Xboxes or whatever whenever, and their parents don't give a crap, their parents ain't gonna force them to get off the dang couch and get out there and go hunt or just go outside and walk around, do something, all right? So, 
in the world that we're living in, these kids are so hell-bent on instant gratification that if you were to take your kid out there, and I mean, I go out many days, many, many days, when I don't see a dang deer, deer feeders or not, I've sat in that stand at least a dozen times, and I've only seen deer maybe four, all right? So I don't know why you think that it's just like, oh, guaranteed you throw out some corn or whatever, and you're going to get deer in there. But if you get these kids out there, and, and I've become more like this, I have evolved a little bit as a hunter, which is why I'm two years into bow hunting, Mr. Smarty Pants. I want to talk about people not being able to let down a bow and stuff. You don't know me. I'm two years into bow hunting because I've advanced a little bit more into bow hunting because I wanted more of a challenge. And that's not to say that one day I might prefer to do things the way that you do. But as it is right now, this is the way that I'm hunting and this is an acceptable range. It's completely legal and it's the way that I know how to hunt. Eventually, I may learn how to do yours. Whenever I have more time on my hands, whenever I ain't working my ass off, crawling around in people's crap doing plumbing jobs mm -hmm. so I can pay to be able to get out and get on a lease and get outside and hunt, okay? I am not a millionaire. I do not own a bunch of acreage that I can just go out and hunt anytime I want and go hunt anywhere I want and I got big monsters roaming around. It's not even about that, all right? It's about just going out, hanging out with your friends. I mean, it's not even about killing. And if you're a hunter, then you freaking know that. Jay responded, okay, Mr. Deer Hunter, sorry I have to chime in on this one. On one hand, I do agree with you. It's much harder to hunt over an area with no feeder. But with that being said, if you're not hunting over a feeder, but hunting on the edge of a cornfield, what's the difference? In Louisiana, we're in a lot of bottom land where the acorns are either eaten very quickly or rot from all the water. So yes, if you can maximize the ability of killing deer in a very limited time that we have off from work by scouting through the year and yes, even hunting over a feeder, I'm going to do it. Because as you know, there's no guarantee when hunting. Uh, point two, deer management. We do manage the deer the best that we can. We, we kill the amount of does that we can and we will eat. But unfortunately, we can't make other people do the same around us and on our lease. As far as the bow, his poundage is correct for his size and build, just nerves and some of, someone new to bow hunting. In closing, dude, if you want to judge someone and spout off dumb shit about something <laughs> you don't know the backstory, you got problems. When you should find the joy in a fellow hunter, okay, this is very important, when you should find the joy in a fellow hunter getting out and experiencing the outdoors instead of sitting in front of a TV like most society today, society today, to sum it up, don't be an asshole. We will hunt the way we hunt and you can use your reco, rec, recurve bow and arrows you have made out of sticks and flint arrowheads. And when you post a pic of the deer you kill, I will give you a like and a good job and go about my day. Take care, bud. Okay? So then, Mr. Deer Hunter comes back. Thanks for taking the time to reply to the thread, Jay. It appears that you and the poster are buddies. Yes, we are. Uh, I'm sure he appreciates you having his back. I, I don't have to appreciate it. He always has my back. He's my brother. Plain and simple. Forgive me for having to reply to a few of your points. First off, <laughs> I love this one. First off, Hunting over a natural food source is not the same as throwing a 100-pound bag of maple and apple-flavored corn and acorn mash under your stand, and you know it. Okay, so people plant cornfields and then cut them down and then hunt over them. That's a natural? That's natural? That's a natural food source? Because it seems unnatural because the people have planted the corn. Right? So you're a freaking idiot right there. I mean, what's the difference between 
cutting down your cornfield and then hunting over it and me throwing out corn on the ground. All right, none of it's maple or apple flavored, although I have used it before. Um, it's not even close. So your point is invalid and idiotic. Is it? Because it seems like you just made yourself an idiotic point about planted cornfields being natural. Here comes another doozy. It's legal where you live. So I don't blame you guys for doing it. Then why the hell are you even talking? Why the hell did you even post anything? You don't blame me for doing it? It sounds like you are. It sounds like you had nothing better to do than to come and blame me for it. I just don't like it. It's an unfair advantage and close to being unethical, but these are just my opinions. Hey, you know what? I respect your opinions. Go ahead. You know, I wasn't even going to say anything, honestly. But whenever you start coming back with stupider stuff, it just kept on eating at me. Because I'm not really a negative guy. I mean, it, all the people here watching, I know you're watching, uh, all the people, Joe Fish, Frank, all you guys that have been here with me, MJ, Glock. I mean, you guys are all, you know, you guys have been watching me long enough that you guys know I'm hardly, I mean, I'm, I mean I'm pretty upbeat kind of guy usually. But this just really, really rubbed me the wrong way. Regarding the poundage, to me, it appears as he has too many. Plain and simple. I don't care how big the dude is. <laughs> uh, you can't smoothly if you can't smoothly let it down, it's too much. The guy was almost thrown out of his stand while letting it down. For Christ's sake, yeah, it almost threw me out of my stand. I would try and like hold the tactic cam on the bow a little bit steadier whenever I let down. I mean, you're. you're you just, ugh. I hate that I'm even doing this. I'm 6'2", 230 pounds, and you're using a 65-pound pull, okay? I'm 6'4", 300 pounds, and I'm using a 67-pound. So, yeah, I can let down as quiet and smooth as pulling it back. I can, too. I didn't have to. The deer were running off, so I let go of it. I don't need... A backstory to spout off. If he's going to post a video, he is looking for comments. Otherwise, he would shut the comments off. I am looking for comments, but I'm looking for like uh, positive comments. I'm not looking for you to sit here and uh, go cursing on my page, which this is probably the first one that I've ever that I've really kind of cursed a little bit through, and. I try very hard to keep my my videos family friendly, but this one just really you just really went you went too far, dude. Uh, I don't mind you comment. Like I said, if you would come at me and be like a civil person and just say what I said earlier, hey man, I'm glad you had fun hunting. Being in the outdoors is awesome. You know, once you get a little bit more advanced. You can start trying this and this and the stock hunt, and then guess what? You're gonna find you're gonna enjoy that a lot more. You're gonna really get into it, and I know I will. And that's what I'm moving forward to. I can feel it. I mean, I've already went from uh, rifle hunting. I'm trying to move more into bow hunting because I find it more challenging. And if you're a bow hunter, then you know how much more challenging than sitting on a stand with a rifle is. So that's the way you come at people. You don't come with this. This is very, very, very rude and brash, and you're just being a freaking troll. And that's all that is. You know, whenever you're just being all out negative for no reason, all right? If you're a freaking hunter, then guess what? You're a bad one. Because the thing that you should be doing is you should pre be promoting people to get out more than sit here and try and attack them over getting outside and you don't know my story you don't know that i don't i'm not a tracker i'm not this so how about you accept what i am and just understand that eventually i can move forward and i will advance and just say that just say the simple little things there's no need for all the damn negativity lastly i don't use a recurve bow 
well then you're already using an unfair advantage. I'm not being an asshole, son. Yeah, you are. If you and your bud can't take a little criticism, I can take criticism. I just, your criticism is not a productive direction. It has no productive value. It can't, it can't move things forward. Your, your criticism is strictly to put somebody down. If you can't take a little criticism, you should check a set of balls out of your local library and stop wearing your sister's underwear. Looking forward to another response from you. I enjoy a good laugh after a good laugh after a long weekend. So thanks again, chap. I think that says all that we need to know about you, Mr. Deer Hunter. Jay, of course, at this point, he just realized basically you can't fight with a troll. And I'm not trying to fight him. I'm not trying to attack him. You know, I just want him to understand that this is unacceptable and that he should really take a look at himself and anybody else that comes at me. All right, Jay gives in, says, you know, keyboard warrior, which he is. He's just being, he's just being stupid. I mean, he can talk all the stuff that he wants to. Um, you can't. In the world of the internet, I, I the only thing I can do is say, and I, and I even said it up here, after he came at me first, I was just like, I'm sorry that you don't approve. That's all you can really say. You can't really get into it with these guys, and that's why I didn't, I mean, I, I didn't really get into it. Um, then Mr. Deer Hunter comes back with nothing wrong with a little friendly banter. It keeps the blood flowing. Good luck to you as well. Remember, it's not about the points. It's about the age. So, you're basically saying that we need to kill more does, but yet it's about the age when those were all baby does, except for one, the one that I was going to shoot. So, now you're contradicting yourself again. I really don't think that you know as much as you think you know about hunting. And, you know, I, I'm not one to judge you. You hunt the way that you want to, sir. I will hunt the way that I want to. Um, you know, maybe you should go to uh, go on the Outdoor Channel and look up all those uh, top hunters, basically that most people consider the top hunters in the world, and uh, watch them hunt because pretty sure every one of them are promoting some sort of attractant. That you throw out and put a pile of uh, sugar beet crush from Lee and Tiffany or whatever those other companies are, Wild Game, whatever, this, that, and the other. There's a dozen different ones on the shelf at your local Bass Pro. So, um, you know what? Instead of bothering the little guy over here on YouTube that's just hanging out, having a good time, why don't you go bother somebody that might actually make a difference? Oh, yeah, that's right. The way most America today is, they just want to bitch but do nothing about it. All right? That's it. I'm out of here. That's all I got. Y'all take it easy.